Hi Hello, guys. you guys. Well, no, welcome. I'm sorry. Hi guys. Hey I'm back. guys, welcome back to Poke Part Two: Wonders Beyond. And now, since we just beat Crocodile, at least that's what I remember. We have to go talk to no one actually, because I think we're supposed to actually head straight into the thing. So I don't know what I'm doing. I should have edited this out. I'm sorry. Don't leave. Please don't leave. Alright. There was a. Yeah. Sorry, sorry if this recording thing looks a little bit sloppy. Um, I did this wicked early in the morning after having no sleep. Because essentially my um, recording plan for this is for one area per day. So. I did one air, did the arbor area, but I did it wicked early in the morning, and there was um something else distracting me. <coughs> Another for uh, what? that was meant to be illegible, but if some people can understand, oh my god, I think I just saw a hidden area. I didn't hit, I didn't notice it before. I think I saw some little ledges going off in the corner. But anyways, uh. Looks like everything's still peaceful in the arbor area. So yeah. Yeah. Fourth take. Fourth take. Fourth take yeah. That's yeah, fourth. all. That's all we need to say. Yeah, but pretty much. That's Anyways, all we have this to say. is Snivy, and is no way, is no way importance whatsoever. Even though she, she is on the cover. No way. No. She 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 paid she paid her she paid her way to get on the cover. Yeah, it's like nothing that, more. It's like that one chicken grab falls. Yeah. One thing I actually think is that, um, the Pokemon genders in this game relate to, um, Ash's Pokemon. Like, uh, his Oshawott was a boy, his Snivy was a girl, and his next Pokemon, whom shall not be named, because uh, I actually forgot the name, I think it was Tepic, yeah, is a guy, too, so yeah. Anyways, he won't let us pass. Why you like so you think electrocuting him is gonna help? Well, I thought he was part steel type, actually. Is he part steel type? Yes, he's part steel type, but that oh would kill god, him. Oh my god, then... No, I tried fight... I tried Sorry. fighting him later on, and... I used Pikachu, and it didn't say super effective, so I'm like, huh. So he's not a steel type. But, appar but apparently he is, so... Anyways, here's one of the most rarest Pokemon, I think. Zauru. I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah, but anyway, like um, it like it does. Actually, they're not they're not that rare in um in like the in like the in like the black remake in, like the black sequel. Black two and white two. Yeah, black two and white two. You're actually like, given it if you're if you go into the right place. Yeah, but like it looks badass, so it must be rare. That's always been my uh, um, unless unless it's like one of the main Pokemon or one of the uh. One Pokemon, it looks cut like a normal type. If it looks badass, it's probably a rare type. No, it, not rare type, but a rare Pokemon. Anyways, he still won't let us pass, even though we've pretty much just talked to Snivy. Again, they said go to Whimsicott. I know. I told you. I, I did this wicked early in the morning. I knew what to do, but it's just that I was just tired when I was recording this. So I'm very sorry. Anyways, I think Wim's caught. We have to chase her down. Oh no, never mind. I don't think we do that now. We do that later. I will find you. And I will kill you. Dun 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 dun. So. Yeah. Anyways, any Pretty Gen much. 5 trivia you want to say? Because this takes a little bit. Okay, let's do some Gen 5 trivia. I asked if you knew any. Do you know any? No. So... Ugh. So I guess we, what's, can't, we what's... can't pass. Oh, wait! Snivy! Thank you. I didn't know they were acquaintance of you, princess. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, another thing. <laughs> it, like, Snivy's a girl! <laughs> You can tell by her... Her sass. You can tell by her sass. <laughs> I 
don't, I don't know what You I'm can doing. tell by her attack strength in Pokemon Generation 2. There's your trivia. And here, here, here's where, here's that weird thing that has no purpose. Wait, well, here's some trivia. What, 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 um, what's technically the first Pokemon in the Unova decks? I want you to answer that, Matthew. You have 50 seconds till you die. Um, um I think it, I think, um, two, I think, give me time. Four. Um, I think, I think, I think it should be Snivy because he's grass. Ah, no. What is it? Victini. Victini? It's number zero in the Unova deck. Well, that doesn't make much sense, but whatever. Anyways, uh... It's like Missing No in Gen 1. Missing No in Gen 1. Missing No doesn't have a number. Does it? It's technically number zero. Missing No doesn't have a number. He's missing mi number his is number his zero. His name is Missing Number. So yeah. he doesn't have a number. Yeah, beca yeah because he was a Poke mistake. Okay, that's just being mean. Even Dorks, even like, like every site I've seen is like a picture, picture of missing no that says I was a mistake. Kill me! Kill me! That's what the missing no screams as he stands next to people in the line for McDonald's. But. Now that we've talked to Superior, we have to go to... Which is also a girl. Well, it's a queen. I, 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 if she's a princess, there has to be a queen. There's no queen king also. in the... There's no king Superior in this game, but... Yeah. What if the king isn't a Superior? Ooh. What if it's Sawsbuck? What if it's Ditto? Like I mentioned earlier, all the Pokemon here... Also, by the way, if you go to that corner... Go to that corner thing with Oshawott, you get a uh, silver wing. I have no idea what they do because I haven't done much research. Are you but talking about like that vast Now white we can't we can't get up there. Are you talking about the vast white quill? Yeah. What do they do? do um you know? they're they're for they're for the for their they're for po they're for post game. I can't talk. But what do they do post game? Um they let you well, is that gonna be spoilers for them? Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm sorry. I don't want to spoil the ending I'm, for you thank, guys. I'm thank sorry. You, thank you for helping me out with that. Anyways, this deerling, who's I consider very badly rendered for some reason, well, stuck it in the stump. Now the weird thing about this stump is that it's it's, it's somehow actually, it's a sometimes it's somehow actually, the size of a building. It's actually quite quite roomy, quite in, there. roomy in there. So and so I guess the uh, so I guess like the. Like the stump just like goes underground. Wait, no, it doesn't because it's you clearly see windows and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, right now this is the hardest chase I think in the game. Yeah, pretty much. Even don't be Oshawott because you're going to lose badly. over and over and over badly. again. See, see, you try to cut her off. See, it was so close right there, and Snivy actually moves faster than you. The only chance I've ever found of actually getting Snivy no, it's is gonna, coming up. No, wait. Like, they say that, like, Snivy specializes in, um, jumping. No, she specializes in... in speed. Per, yeah, speed. Yeah, per, like I said before, I think, in the commentary, that, um, what, past this point, I use Snivy personally whenever I'm going around the free, the free roaming place, and that's the place you can only hit her. Yeah, that's P like, possibly because if you don't uh, if you don't screw it up, that's the only place you'll get her. Okay, trust me when I say this. Okay, I had to redo this. I had to redo this chase and it sucked. Yeah, when I was test playing it, I kept on trying to do it. Like the first time I went up to her was with Oshawott in the test playthrough, and I was like, no. And then I tried it with Pikachu, and I couldn't get her. But luckily, I learned about that trick, and then I just did it. Anyways, we're gonna enter the stump, which looks relatively about two feet. To nope. Again. Is, yeah, it good or, is it good or bad that I've actually be that I've actually gotten Snivy with Oshawa before? Is that good or bad? Yes. Good or bad? Yes. 
both? Yes. Why? Yes. Why? Yes. Why? Anyways, you need Snivy for this. You're freaking confusing me. <laughs> You need Snivy for this, and uh, this is where I kind of learned, I don't know if it's a fact or not, but um, with the character changing process, the Pokemon that's on your left is the one you just used, and the Pokemon on your right is the one you haven't used yet. And that always seems to happen, because I... Cause I or, at least the, or at least like the one that... I think that's how the rotation wheel actually kind of works. Anyways, also you can't change on these things, which is kind of bull, but whatever. See, like, see, like, it's like that. You, like, switch to Oshawa, and then you switch back to Snivy. And then you have to switch back to Oshawa. There you go. Don't listen to me. Say, who's the one that played the game? Also, who wants to win the free time? And who wants to get all the berries, even though you can get... I do, too. Okay. By, the by the end of this part, I'm gonna have, like, 600 berries. Just telling you. And I'm dancing to the music. Working. But I love the dance. I got the moves. I got the music. I need the music to dance. Need you can wait. You can wait. You can wait another. You can wait. At no, least. I can't. Cause I. You can wait at least another part to dance. I so, anyways, now that you have Snivy, the fastest person, period, you uh -huh. should never really switch back to Pikachu. Never. Never, at all. never really, because Pikachu is pretty much useless at this point. Like, the only real use for Pikachu is to handle um, battles and stuff like that. And bombs, and like that. But like, and like uh, but before before we get too ahead of ourselves, and um, like the techish area, that's the probably the other. other yeah, that's one. that's that's so many different parts for now. But anyways, um, the only really the only real use is for um is when uh. Is when you have, um... When you have to, like... It's when, like, yeah. that... It's at the end of my tongue. It's when you have to battle, um, steel types or, um... Or water have... types or stuff like that. Or or you have to use that thunder boom or something, which I won't mention. Which I won't... Which what? Shall Thunderbolt? Mention. You have to use, like, a thunder move. Thunderbolt? Later on in the game, like, you have... Like, it's mandatory to do it. Thunderbolt? Ugh. But anyways, uh, yeah, Snivy is the fastest, and before we get ahead of ourselves, Snivy has... Snivy is the grass type, and like I said with, um, Pikachu is the only one who has two different types of moves. And Snivy... Oh, look at his smug face. Punch him in the face. You guys are not worth my time. I want to hate all of you. Snivy has the you biggest... You guys are... Yeah, I have the biggest ego in the world. Before we get ahead of ourselves, again, because we almost got ahead of ourselves, um, um, Snivy has the Leaf Tornado, which allows him to spin and do that, instead of, like, the Iron Tail copy move, and then he has, um, I think, oh my god, please don't remind me of that, anyways, um, and he has the Leaf Storm, no, not Leaf Storm, it was, um, Razor Leaf move. And then she uses tail, um, not tail whip. I was about to, say, ugh. um, vine whip in order to actually do her gash combos. But anyways, um, this boss fight is um kind of hard if you went up here with Snivy. Even even though I beat her with Snivy, it took me two attempts to beat him. Bisharp is a girl. No, it's a guy. I just, I just. You called said, it a her. I just, and I was about to say, I said it wrong. Plot twist. I said it wrong. Plot twist. Plot twist. Everyone's ditto. But anyways, um, in order to win this fight with Snivy, um, what you want to do is use the leaf tornado to get everybody away, and then just go away, and then repeat the process. The last step is to profit from it. You got that from South Park. Leaf Tornado, and then that little move. And you should not really lose the boss fight. Although, I did end up getting hit from that. Because, there... In this part, there are a couple cheap kind of attacks. We'll see it later. Later, I think in the next part, we'll see it. But, anyways, if you stick with that strategy, there should be no more Bisharps to give you trouble. And... What is it? I said, I said it's called Ponyard. 
You're that fighting what? Bisharp. Oh, you're fighting Bisharp, and what? And the no, other like guys the, are the smaller guys are Ponyard. Oh, oh. Ponyard. Pon you shouldn't have any problems with um. Ponyard. Even though I, I really don't get that name. We're trying to pawn off a Pokemon. Pretty much. But that was pretty much the end of the story part of this kind of um this kind of area. Okay, so from so from now on we're just gonna be trying to get some friends and yeah, go with the trivia. Is Zora in this game a boy or a girl? In this game. It's a she. Zora? Yeah, I think it's a she. It's a he. The one, the one who the the fox that's like talking right now, that's a he. Uh, I the she is the, the, the evolutionary can... form of it, like bigger. Well, bigger well, sis I just assume big sister. Because there's no real point for having Pokemon and having genders, in, at least in this game. Well, there is, but ah, I'm tripping over my own words. Some Pokemon don't really need it. Stop it, Optimizer Pro Limited. <sighs> but now it now there's the gimmick for this place. And that is, we need flying type Pokemon. And yes, you did see it at it. We need flying type Pokemon in order to uh -huh, make this even fail. better. <laughs> no, I I want to show off what happens if you try this without getting any any Pokemon whatsoever. And you get it like a quarter of the way there by yourself. There's. I mean, die. yeah, you get you get it a quarter of the way there. You die. Yeah, so we lost that, so we're gonna need somebody with a lot of friendship power. And you know who has a lot of friendship power? Whimsicott. Magikarp. Magikarp. Yeah. Magikarp. Please tell me you're gonna do what I think you're gonna do. Magikarp, the king of carp. No. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Oh! Matthew. It's Magikarp, the king of carp. Oh! Why did you do what I wanted you to do? I wanted you to do something. Throw it at the Snorlax? Yeah, try and feed the Snorlax. Yeah. But anyways, now that we have Magikarp, let's try it again! Yeah! Yeah! Where's, where, wait, where's Gyarados? Then we'd actually have a no. type. No, we only need Magikarp! See? Look at the li lineup that sticks on the camera even though you only have one friend. <laughs> See Magikarp flopping in the background. Alright, let's do this Magikarp! Let's do this! Magikarp flops around enough so- Magikarp! We... See, he's doing splashes for us! Come on Magikarp! Flip. You can do this! Flip. Flip. Magikarp, look! Flip. We, got, we Flip. got it barely over a quarter Flip. now. Flip. He got it! But no, no, his friendship was too strong. <laughs> his friendship was too strong. No! No! The end. This is the end of. The, um, the end. This, this is, is the end of Pokemon this Part is, 2. It, it's been a great adventure. This is what happens when you rely on it. Um, the game is now over. Goodbye. Oh, I'm, wait. I'm just oh, wait. We're not. We're Anyways, um, now we gotta get some friends. And we're gonna get some of the friends in this part. And this is what I was talking about. The shortest chase sequence because you only have a second to actually do it and I didn't fail it this time sit up I always I always say that at least once in the playthrough of all my playthroughs I don't know why I want to get arthritis like someone else like someone I know I don't have arthritis I know you no I'm not talking about uh, you <laughs> you were looking at me and I was I was kind of scared to be like is there something you want to tell me? Oh, wait, you Do heard? you know if wait, I? Wait, you haven't heard my, mo my mom is arthritis. Oh, I did not hear that. And that she she goes off so therapy. Anyway, so anyway, farting. She, so anyways, here's farts. the farting Pokemon. Um, it's worse than Cottony because what Cottony does is one. This Pokemon does two, and it does it sort of at an angle. See, I almost got it. It's fat. It's she's a little bit faster than Snivy, and. What are you doing? I don't know. I want to get this. You're just, you're just like going slowly insane watching this. My friends make me insane. Nice. And she farted before she died. And then it goes away. And that's where stink berries come from, kids. Yeah. Sweet. The more 
are, you know. So anyways, the screen went black. Um, so yeah. Pretty good. Uh, Snorlax is here, and he'll help us bring Cottony here. Get Cottony here now! But we don't actually have to bring Cottony over here. It just appears. But the chase is pretty much the same as the, um, Cotton Fluff Farting Pokemon. Except for she has one cloud, not two. So I didn't really have to show it off. So yeah, now that you got Snorlax. Are you, are you planning on doing the Kakuna in this in this part? Like planning on like befriending the Kakuna? Probably not. Uh, actually, I no, feel like a major idiot because when I why did what it, happened? Because I thought like um to do to do to like do them. Because I thought like in order to um do like the mini game. With the oh no, I actually do end up befriending the Kakuna. And uh, here's what I ended up doing. I thought. Me had too. To, like that's the I same thought, thing I did. I like, thought. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I thought you had to bring him over here in order to activate the thing. S but. I, but, but it turns out you have to talk to them first. You have to talk. No, you have to talk to the people over there. Wait. This is where. No, do you do you do you have to bring that that cottony that uh cocoon over there? Do because. No, I, I didn't have a chance to actually really learn no, what you you're supposed actually to go, do. No, you talk to that Kakuna, and then you go talk to this Kakuna, and then you take... And, and then you get a cutscene, you take that Kakuna to the other Kakuna, and then it, it, is and it, just and it begins you, a new game. Do you, have to do you have to transport it automatically, or just just walk over there on its own? I, I guess it just does what Mega Slowbro does. Just, just walk on the little thing. thing. It looks, said, like, it looks like the Kakuna's floating, to be honest. They all look disoriented. Like, they're all, like, shaking all around, ready to fall over. But this is fun to them, so... I don't know. Basically, knock them all down at once. I think all your moves can do it, so if you use... As long as you spin that Wiimote, you can knock them all over. And see, they had fun getting their butts kicked. Yeah, it's a good like one. everyone else, everyone else is pretty insane because everyone gets their butt kicked in this. It's like Pokemon battles, except for more brutal because everyone's smiling at the end of the day. Seismitoad. Yeah, so I get Seismitoad because he's pretty gigantic. Guy. Gigantic. Shit. I don't want to say it again because I'm pretty sure I'll screw it up the second time. Gigantic. You did it! Nice job! Yay. Congratulations! So, I need, now, I need so this is the last friend we are going to be befriending for this part. So next part last friend we make it in next our next part we're going to be finishing the wish park and getting the rest of our friends. Not in that order, in the reverse order. But uh yeah. Picking. Oh thank you, Sunfisk. Bye, I have rare candies in Bye. the bag.